MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, it's the first report between the Atlanta Braves and the Broncos. Number 29 makes his one-hand debut. Hit the ball hard. Hit the ball hard. set for baseball here this evening. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Throw and he's called out on a close play at first. Digging in, Nick Markakis. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Now a drive out to the gap in right center. Markakis will round it at first and head for second now. And he's in there easily at second with a one out double. Let's take another look at just a textbook swing right there. Good weight transfer, good hands to the ball, solid contact, and great extension through the ball. Yeah, that's about as pretty as a swing gets. Nice look at it there from our camera guys as well. Standing in now, Freddie Freeman. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble three and one. Guys, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight. They come into this one looking to make amends for a loss last time out that put an end to a seven-game winning streak. Yeah, Maddie, this is a nice one. First game of a homestand. You played well on the road. You got a chance to grab a shower and sleep in your own bed last night. I bet you this team comes out on the attack today. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Reined in on to first, and there were two down. Got it. Cool. The left field. Stepping in, Ronald Acuna. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Markakis at third with two away. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Going to be a tough play. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Dallas Keuchel gets the call for game one of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Dallas Keuchel is a complete pitcher. He's kind of a throwback to a Jimmy Key kind of pitcher. A Tom Glavin type. Not overpowering. 89 to 91 miles an hour with sink. Has the curveball, has the slider, and the straight change of Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. to the plate Sandy Guerrero hit out towards second Albies brings it in throw gets him two down Ball close, but he didn't get it two and one. Now, boys, these Braves, as they take the field here tonight, they've been on the skids recently, losers in seven of their last nine ball games. 
Yeah, guys, I'm interested to take a look at this team in game one of this road trip right now. They have to play better. They took it on a chin, recent homestand, only winning two games. But I'll tell you what, today they're putting a guy out on the mound that can execute down and away. I look for him to set the tone. Now here's a fly ball, well hit. Right fielder looking up. <laughs> pitch coming up line drive base hit at the plate now number 29 fouled away And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. The two-two. Line but speared on a hop. Over to Albies covering at second. And that'll do it. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. Second inning coming up. It's now one nothing. Here's the third baseman Josh Donaldson hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits including a home run yesterday. Set to deliver on two and one called strike two. Two balls two strikes a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter so Dan what was your approach on the mound in that count do you still pitch for the strikeout here action pitch right here 2 2 the last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count 3 2 and that finds its way through for a base hit Dan after that base hit right there he's got a six game hitting streak going you know what and this could be this could lead him on to something some bigger and better things right here he's been swinging the bat pretty well and he's been rewarded for it as you talked about six game hitting streak so far stepping in Jason Hayward and he's hoping to get things going at the plate it's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games a bouncer up the middle scooped up one there on to first and they get the double play. It's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone and if you do do anything with it most of the time this will be the result a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. Coming to the plate now Max Kepler and he'll be one to watch out for in this one very good numbers in recent games. Two out, nobody on. And this will be fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Chen will put this one away. And
fly ball out to straightaway center. Kepler's there for it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Yeah, you just don't have the opportunities to fail when they invest minimal money in you. It shows how hard this guy has had to work to grind through the minor leagues and get to this point. And set up behind the plate is Kenny Jansen as you see the rest of the umpiring crew there. Hey, the book on Kenny Jansen, d -Row, not a very big zone, but he will give you that low pitch below the knees. Yeah, and he's consistent. You're okay with that as an offensive player. He wants to give that pitch below the knees. If this pitcher can execute consistently, you better make the adjustment. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. He makes the throw to first. Two down. Well, you know you made a real nice pitch from the dirt, and you still get the hit of the swing at To the current campaign with the average up over 300 so far. And there's a line drive, base hit to left field. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. Wow, the throw pulls him off the bag. Stepping in now, number 44. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Man, 35 pitches with only two outs in the second inning? Ideally, you'd like to have 30 or less after two innings, so he's got some catching up to do. Ready with the 2-1. This is line to left, and that's in there. Base hit. And the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't have a chance of even the two outs. Now, number four, hit on the ground to short. Swanson picks it up, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and next to hit is the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Liner towards second, but an Adam Bull right to him for the first down. So one gone now as we give you a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play in the National League's Eastern Division race. Dansby Swanson lining up to hit. He's seen that average climb during his seven game hitting streak. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a breaking ball, but it's low. I got two one to count. Drilled to first. And he'll step on first himself for the out. 
And that'll bring in the former top prospect, Ozzie Albies. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Maddie, and it looked like a sinker in his last AB that got him to roll over. Kind of similar situation right here. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. at and missed he chased it for strike two swung on and he went fishing in the dirt and the throw is there been the entire offense so far in this one they've been shut down other than that two balls and a strike to count now the 2 1 pitch one out nobody on he loses him on ball four a solid one hit in your entire career but pressure's off now maybe he gets hot and there's out number two as this is taken in high fly ball out to straightaway center Kepler's on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. All set for the start of the fourth, and digging in is the veteran DH, Nick Markakis. Here's the 1 1. Ah, changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it one and two now. Neither guy willing to give in and the at bat will continue. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. Swing and a miss there by Mark. So stepping in, Freddie Freeman. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now the 2 1 pitch. On a line, that's a base hit. No mistake what he was sitting on, looking for a dead red piece of cheese, middle of the plate, and he didn't miss it. At the plate, Ronald Acuna hit down the line at first, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Working for the punch out and the offering. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. From the stretch. On the ground is short. This could be two. He's got it. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. 
So striding in Josh Donaldson as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Good hard sinker but he lays off to even things at two and two. No runs three hits and no errors so far for Atlanta. And it's fouled away. Just staying alive putting together a really good at bat here. Here's the two and two. He got him. to right but that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall and a good effort to bring it back in standing in now number 66 squared that one up just a little late Two two is at the knees and called strike three. Anytime you get lucky, he's just breaking into the dead leaf. You have to expect a certain amount of this. There aren't any easy at bats at this level, and you really have to learn how to slow the game down. Into the box, number 30. And here's a fastball, not close, as he runs it to two and one now. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Liner towards second and a leaping effort, but it's off his glove. Plate now, number 44, smoke toward the hole, and that is in the right field, the base hit, and that'll score the run from third as they go up two down from the to the plate number four and a fastball swung on and missed as they send him down for the second time here tonight. Well, there's nothing better for the pitcher stand that high fastball with a high piece of cheese swung in and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's a really tough to play play. Stepping in now, Sandy Guerrero. Low with the fastball that time. Two balls and two strikes. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. Peckle pauses. Here's the two and two. Right side. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. 
We played four full. The Broncos are out on top two to nothing. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said their pitch selection has been the main reason for their struggles today, as far too often they've been swinging at pitches outside the strike zone. That's leading to a lot of soft contact and easy outs. So the focus going forward is on shrinking the zone and forcing the opposing pitching to throw more strikes. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. foul tip that's held on to with the plate and the count moves to one and two now. Hey I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack and make this pitcher come in the middle of the plate. Grounded to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. No runs, three hits, and no errors so far for Atlanta. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. In time to first, and there are two away. Two gone now in the Atlanta half of the fifth. And next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Bases are empty here with two men out. To short. Fielded cleanly. Throw in time and the side is retired. center and that finds some outfield grass it's a base hit so that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning in the way. at the plate Wang hit on the ground to third over to Albies on to Freeman a double play first game but after two at bats he should be able to slow himself down a little bit I expect him to have a nice AB right here big sweeping breaking ball right there good pitch but if he wants to get him to swing at it he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone he's falling behind now three and one I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound this is a count for a fastball challenge and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box Inside and misses ball four. side and the inning will continue as that's through for a two out hit throw comes in for Matt Clem so hit and run the whole thing to first and second half. 
Standing in now, number 66. Swing and a liner. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Obviously trying to play cool right now, but you can bet inside his head, he's on top of the world. Hey! Into the box, number 30 changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for the ball. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Bases are loaded here, two down. All even now, two and two. And they try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And stepping up is the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. A excellent job to get yourself back in this count after throwing three consecutive balls. you got a chance to get an out right here. Line to the right side. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. So it's an inning opening base hit, and the Braves have a man on. Dan, that hit right there extends his hit streak to eight games. Are you aware of stuff like that? No doubt about it right now. He's swinging the bat really well, and after that knock right there, hey, listen, eight games is nothing to sneeze at, so you can say, hey, he's going to hold calendar week with getting at least one base hit, so there's a lot of positives going on right now. Oh, and he took something off of it there. It's one and two. A runner at first with no outs here. Ball. To two balls and two strikes now. I had to count two and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Hit back up the middle. Reined in. There's one. On to first, and they get them both. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure. So base is empty now after the double play, and standing in is the DH, Nick Markakis. That's in there on the outer half, one and two now. Two out, nobody on. Hit hard on the ground to second. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Luke 
Jackson enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. For Atlanta, number 77, Luke Jackson. You know, Matty, what a great debut. He's playing with house money right now. Expect him to have another quality at bat. Count is one and two now. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Classic. Strike two. Now some action in the Braves bullpen as they'll stand up a right-hander to get loose. Bases are empty, one man out. Now a fastball inside and he works it back to a full count now. Sandy Guerrero will be next. Popped him up. Flowers is there. Two gone. He just needs one to fall right here. Just something to grab himself a batting average and let him relax. You're playing for everybody else but yourself at this moment, just trying to grind to get a hit. He chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. Digging in now, Freddie Freeman, one for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. 1-1. Uh, one, one. Hit back toward the mound. Scooped up. On to first and a big out to start the seventh. One gone. Now back. And here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. Here comes the manager out of the first base dugout heading for the mound. And a change is forthcoming as that's going to do it for his starter here this evening. So we'll leave here with one out in the seventh as he now hopes the bullpen can go ahead and get him the other. left side he's got it and quickly there are two away now battle third base Josh Donaldson digging in now he's one for two in the ball game
lays off the slider that time two and one hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat one might be coming right here. Line shot to third, and the side is retired. Shane Green gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Shane Green. Here's the 2-2. And oh, strike three called as he gets a little help there. So now to the plate, Wang. 1-2 is the cut fastball, but he holds back 2-2. Two two. Bases are empty, one man out. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. now number 29 and he turns this one around high and deep to center field Kepler retreats to the track and he'll put this one away so a sigh of relief as the side is retired ready to begin the eighth and standing in is the veteran outfielder Jason Hayward even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. Here now the 2-2. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. Now the 3-2 and two pitch. He takes it to the opposite field, high and deep to left. Left fielder looking up. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to left. As they cut the lead in half, it's 2-1 to one now. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat. Being shut out all game, but not anymore. Stepping in now, Max Kepler. The bouncer to the left side. And the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. One away for the Braves here in inning number eight. And next to bat will be the catcher, Tyler Flowers. Now the one and one pitch. Swing and a hard liner to center field. But sadly for him, this will head straight to the center fielder as he puts it away without much trouble for the second out. Boy, talk about hitting into some rough luck. That was an absolute bullet to the outfield that gets caught, and he would have represented a tying run. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. One for two on his line so far in the game. The 2-2. Lofted in the air out toward right center. 
Number four is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Darren O'Day is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 56, Darren O'Day. Swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Grounded to the right. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Standing in now, number 66. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2-1 home. Runners off for second. Offered at and missed. Here's the throw. Short hop, but they got him. Great pick and tag to catch him trying to steal. Well, they've got a small lead, and they're pushing to add to it by being aggressive on the base pass. But as a manager, you just hope you're not giving up outs that you wish you could have had back. Our pitcher's duel continues here. Two to one score as we play the eighth. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Acuna. Striding into the box, number 30, two for three with a double on his line so far. Sinker misses that time, and it's two and one. Here it comes. A swing and a miss there, two and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And this is swung on and grounded out to Swanson at short. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. All set to start the ninth in this one. Well, that'll bring up Ozzy Albies. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. And he comes back with a fastball. 1 and 2 now. Weak grounder back to the mound. And the off balance throw beats him at first, and that's a tough play. Nick Markakis digging in now. He was a ground down victim last time up. Slow roller down the third baseline. One run game here in the top of the ninth. High and deep down the left field line. And this will wind up a foul ball. 
Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Full count now, 3-2. and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. One out, nobody on. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Once again, a 3-2. And he lays off, ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. That was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Time called here as with the potential tying run aboard, they'll make the move to get a little more speed out there. So next up will be Freddie Freeman. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Quick check on that tying run at first. And he just manages to get his hand in. Runners on first with one down. Line drive to center field. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Throw into second. And he is in there at third as the possible tying run. Well, you can't go from first to third much faster than that. And Showtrack is demonstrating just how elite his speed is. There are only a small handful of guys that can get their top speed up into that territory. Acuna digs in now. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. Hit hard on the ground is short. The second for one. Back to first. It's a double play. Right